Hello friends. So today in this video, we will be going through another problem from lead code, which is a hard problem. The problem name is smallest range covering elements from K list. So I'll go through the problem statement first, and then we're going to discuss the approach and the good part. The problem statement states that you have K list of sorted integers, as you can see, and in these are in non decreasing order, like they're sorted in like ascending order. Then find the smallest range that include at least one number from each of these K list, which means that you have to find out a smallest range such that like any number from this range should exist in every nums. Okay. So what I mean by this is, as you can see, the range is 20 to 24. Now 24 is in this range and it also lies in this list. So 20 is in this range and it lies in this and 20, 22 is also in this range and it lies in this list so it's like finding out the smallest range such that every number in this range not every number but like every list has like should have one number which is in this range okay so you should find out the smallest range such that every list should at least have one number which should be in this range now how you can go about this solving out this problem so it means that like you have to find out so what what i first thought about this problem is like you have some sorted numbers there might be some overlapping some sort of like this these are the list and i have to find out some common smallest range which is in every number okay so it means that you have some sorted list which, which might be overlapping like this on a number line these are the sorted list and i have to find out the smallest range which is somewhat common in all the num like like sorted list so if the list are like this and one is list is like this then i have to find out that okay the, the list should consist of numbers of this range because then it consists of this numbers also this number also and some number of this list also so you have to somehow somehow find out the intersection of all the list now finding out the intersection is a little bit different like not difficult but still but you have to find out somewhat the intersection but what you can easily do in this problem is uh the one thing which come to my mind is let's assume that uh like these all the list if i somehow merge them into a single list like these lists are different okay these lists are different but i have to find, somehow find out a common list now okay but if i somehow manage to bring out all these lists into one single list then it would be more beneficial for me but if i mix down to the single list then i will keep track of the like i will not keep track of what element is of which list so but i can attach every element with some id something id means that this is this of the first id like zeroth list this is the first list this is the second list so what you can do here is if i make a un, like if i make a single list of all of these elements okay so that they are sorted because the the range which i have to found out it should be like an increasing order it should be a sorted list okay a sorted range so if i somehow make elements let's assume that one is of the second group okay two like there's a next number two which is of the first list there is uh, like four which is of the first list there is uh, let's assume six which is of the third list okay then there is one like sorry so one there is again six which is from the first list and so on okay which means that i have some sort of numbers which are sorted out and again i have some ids now it means that now my problem boils down to finding out us a, a subsection or like a substring or like a section of this whole array such that every number which is the id should exist in it i hope you get the point which means that shit see i have to somehow make a range i can make out this range also now such that if this is a range i should ensure that in this range every element should like every id should be present at least once because every id is present at least one means that it means that in this range which i have taken every number from every list is present like at least one number from every list is present because every list is depicted by one id and if i take out one 
like one section which means that okay taking out this section means that i have taken out elements from each id and that's the logic for this problem you just have to first make a single array marking out the num like the elements and the id sort it out after sorting it out you have to use a two pointer technique okay two point technique to find out the smallest list the smallest range list or like a subsection which consists of all the elements like all the id element and that's the whole problem i'll take on to the code part now to make it more clear you can pause the video at this point if you want to see the code and uh, yeah so what what i have done here is i have to first insert all the nums value with its id so this is the id okay so i'm iterating over every list and for every list i'm iterating over every number and i'm pushing out the number and the list id in this array then i'm sorting out the whole number such that every number is sorted out with the list ids but the sorting is done on the basis of the numbers itself then i have to find out the minimum length the minimum length array or like a range so the minimum length range i am defined by a very large number because i have to find out the minimum length okay then this is like a map which is which i have used in the problem i'll tell you how which i have used this is the total and this is j j and i is used for two point array so i have mem set this value so this is the map value which is the difference so i have mem set it with zero now what i am doing in this problem is like i have to store out what are the different like different ids in this problem i have to ensure that every id is present how many different ids are there the different id is the total number of list which are there so total number of list which is the size of the nums and that and that much ids are there so i have to also make the ensure that i have to keep track of how many ids i have seen till now using this two, two pointer so i have to make a map for storing out different ids and i have to first mem set to zero that no ids there then this is the two pointer start i from zero till end then whatever id i have seen till now id is stored on a i dot second i will increment that id okay then what i'll do as you can see if the particular id is one after incrementing which means that i have seen this element for the first time if i have seen this particular element for the first time the total different ids i have seen will increment increment by to increment by one which means that let's assume that that there are different ids there is some two there is some one there is again one so if my i is moving from left to right i have seen one time one and i have again see one time one these both of these ids are same so i should not increment two times it means that both of these ids are same so it boils down to a single like like i should take if, if i'm taking both the elements it's also fine but i have to find a total number of different ids should be equal to total number of different ids in the total uh, like problem itself so i have to also increment the total total means that i have seen a new id how can i understand that this is a new id i have to see that that whatever id i have added till now whether the count become one the count become one means that okay i have added this id for the first time for the first time it means that this is a new id so i will increment the total and whenever my total becomes equal to different different means total number of different ids are there if it become total number different this means that okay now i have all the ids in my list or the range i have so i have to minimize this range like so what i'll do what is the range value so as you can see the range value will be this so if i take out a range from first till 6 1 till 6 i take out a range then as you can see if i take out 1 to 6 range range means that every number in this range will be somewhere in every list So as you can see, one will be in the first, second list, two will be in the first list, four be in the in the first list, six will be in the third list, and so on. So it means that if I take out a range from one till six, every number, like like every list has some number which is in this list because I have taken this list out. Okay, so that's what I've done. So I have to minimize this range now. So what is the length of this range? I'll see that the length of this range is this minus this plus one because six minus one plus one. actually 6 the total length of this range is obviously 6 now so if this length is smaller then what i'll do i will update my minimum because this is the smallest range i've seen till now and i have to also store out this range somewhere so that's why i have make a uh, answer i think so yeah answer vector to store out this range that i'm also storing out this range now 
if I have covered all the total elements which are different, now I have to also move my back pointer. So I have to make a while loop and I will use this back pointer and I will keep on updating my back pointer. My back pointer will move. So let's see my eye is at this point, which means that I have seen all the elements till now, like two, three and one. Now, is there some way that I can move my back pointer and also minimize the total range value? Can I somehow uh, like uh, minimize the range value? Because let's assume that my first ID is two, second ID, ID is two, third ID is two, fourth ID is one, and fifth ID is three. Now, if I have only three ID possible, then obviously my range is this, but I can also bring down my range to this also, because this range also consists of all the elements from one to three, but uh, this range also consists of all the elements from one to three, but this is smaller. So it's beneficial to bring down my left pointer, which is J to this point. When I have to bring this down, I have to only bring this down when I have all the elements in my range. So that's what I'm doing. I'll do a while loop such that I'll do a while loop till my total elements, total different elements is equal to total different elements which are existing. If they exist, what I'll do, I will check that whether the element I am on the jth element. So if the jth element is the frequency of that element is greater than one. Which means that, okay, there are some more elements. Can I delete out this element and still my range has all the elements present? Yes. So delete this out because I want to somehow delete some elements from the left part such that my total number of different elements should remain the same. That's what, that's what I'm doing. If they are same, delete this element out and increment my J. So now my J go to this point. If my J is at this point, can I delete down this element and still my range has all the different elements? Yes. So delete out this element also. Now my J become at this point. Can I delete down this element and still my range has all the different elements? No, because if I delete down this two, my range will not have one, two, three. This two is deleted. So it's not possible now. So you, my J will come down to this point now. So this is my final range, which is the smallest range, but still I can go further. But this is the smallest range I can go. So. I will break out when I cannot go further. And then this is the new range. It's like my J is at this point and my I is this point. So I will now again check that whether this range has shrinked down or not. If this is this range is smaller than the minimum I have seen above. If yes, I will update again, update my minimum value. And in this process, it's like just like a two pointer window approach to find out what is the smallest range. The, the range length is not depicted by the length of the window. Remember that the range length is not depicted by the length of the window, but it's depicted by the value of that elements at that window, because we are finding out the range of those using those elements, not the window length, but still we are using two pointers to get the smallest range as possible. And it's just like a window technique to find out the smallest range such that the length is smallest and it consists of all the different IDs present. And in the end, I have this answer, which is storing out the starting and the ending range values so you can see the code at this point okay if you still have any doubts you can mention in the coin box i'll see you next one till then keep coding and bye